That's Jeb. You may wonder how he has got here, and why he doesn't have a parachute. Well, it all started with a new feature in Kerbal's space program. Hello everybody and welcome! Just about now, Kerbal Space Program 1.11 titled Some Reassembly Required was released. I was fortunate enough to have access to a preview version of this release, so I can give all of you KSP fans some insights into what is going on in this update. As always, disclaimer, my experience is based on, as I said, a preview version, so your mileage may vary. To be honest, there are quite a few very interesting things in this update, so let's give it a spin, shall we? A pop-up window at Startup will inform you about the most important changes. Also, when you start a new game, you may notice flags can now be grouped in categories. Also, there are new flags for Rocket Labs and Electron in there, which is a nice touch. But the main focus in this release is on EVA, and it actually enhances the gameplay of KSP even further than what the Breaking Ground expansion already did. Before we go into details what you are now able to do with your little green man on extravehicular activity, I want to talk about the new parts and editor mechanics that enable you to do these things. Those cargo containers from Breaking Grounds, they are now stock parts, so you no longer need the expansion to have them. In addition to those, more cargo parts have been added, which can carry even bigger things. Place a part and open the new cargo view, which is a button up top. Here you can put items. The main constraint is volume, indicated by this little bar below the inventory slots. You can add all of these new little parts, like a repair kit and experiment kit, more on those later, or even bigger parts like, yes, an engine. So if you land your craft a little rough SN8 style, you can actually bring a spare part to fix that. You can even choose whether or not you want to equip your Kerbals with a parachute and or jetpack to make room for other stuff you want them to carry, for instance an EVA fuel canister instead of a parachute to extend your EVA duration. Or you just remove everything. I'm sorry Jab, but you do seem to enjoy yourself. Back to the editor. All of this cargo stuff has an influence on the mass of your vehicle. Not only for cargo, but also for passengers. In KSP 1.11, the mass for crude parts has changed to reflect how many kerbals you put into them. See the mass figures go up with every kerbal I add to this crew part? Launched with a full crew or only a few passengers will now make a difference on how much energy is required to get into space. One could say it is a mass if change. Anyway, so let's go and try all of this out a little, shall we? I have built this little rover and we are now here on Val. You may notice Val looks a lot prettier. That's because it now also got the texture and shader revamp that many other planets and moons have received in previous updates. Bob and Tylo also got this treatment. If I'm not mistaken, we now have improved visuals for Kerbin, the Moon, Minmus, Duna, Ike, Eve, Gilly, Jewel, Lathe, Val, Tylo and Bob. Only Paul and Elu to go. Back to our rover. Of course we need to recharge our batteries, so we use solar panels. But oh no, what is this? Jab took that corner a little too enthusiastically and now the panels are broken. Time to try out those repair kits I mentioned earlier. Alright, so if we just park here, we can get our engineer out to improve our rover here on location. First, this door is a bit high up, so let's add a ladder. Open the new construction UI, accessible via a button on the right, and just pick parts from the inventory slots of your cargo items and attach them to your vehicle. While Bill is doing that, he uses his magic laser to attach these parts. We also want to add some headlights and some other lights everywhere. Notice how Bill's visor flips down every time he uses the laser? It's a nice touch and a reminder to always shield your eyes when welding. Seriously, if you ever weld, protect your eyes. We can then pick one of the repair kits from our cargo container and use it to fix up the broken solar panel. They 
There we go, that's much better. While we are at it, let's try out all these other things we brought, shall we? Here we discover another new feature of KSP 1.11, improvements to how lights work. Picking colors has a new UI, which makes guessing the outcome a lot easier. There are also some presets for ready-made colors like red, green, blue and yellow. Also, lights can blink. And these new light parts can be pitched and rotated to light in exactly the direction you want them to shine. <laughs> in the end, we got ourselves a space disco. Fun times! I not only mentioned the repair kit, but also the experiment kit. With this, a scientist can perform new EVA experiments. And they include fun little animations depending on the planetary body they are performed on. Here on Val, Bob smashes a banana. On Kerbin, he hits a golf ball. I'm not going to show you the others, you can find out what they are yourself. Of course, this update also includes a lot of bug fixes and some quality of life improvements. For instance, this. Launch clamps will now always default to the earliest stage. Also, parachutes will now never default to the first stage, which is another welcome improvement. And we got new RCS parts. In the past, you had to add a linear port in the center of a quad RCS module. Now these multi-nozzle modules can be used in different variants from 2 to 5 nozzles. We also got smaller RCS modules for really small spacecraft. This will make it easier to precisely control those, for instance, when docking. And Jab? Well, I forgot to pack his parachutes, I apologize. But yeah, all good things come to an end, even the life of an exceptional pilot like Jab. While he is falling to his doom, let me tell you that I like the new features introduced in KSP 1.11. It will definitely make EVA missions more interesting, and next time I will remember to pack a shoot for Jab. Goodbye, old friend. Wait, what? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.